Hello everyone, I wanted to do a quick video on uh, scheduling inside Nextcast. Um, if you don't understand how to create a rotation or a playlist, I suggest you watch some of the quick start videos uh, to get you started so you can understand how to do that. But once you have rotations or playlist created, you'll see the icons here below. And I'm going to quickly show you how you can schedule um, different playlists or rotation to start at different times see if I can fit it in the screen here okay so basically this is my um, schedule window and I'm gonna clear the schedule okay so it has the days of the week so you can schedule for a whole uh, whole week and then you can schedule anywhere from zero hours which is 1 a.m. well 1 a.m. midnight zero hours is midnight uh, 23 is 11 it's military time so what you need to do to schedule it's pretty simple uh, let's say on Sunday you want to run this RH rotation you just activate the RH uh, icon on top and then you can slowly move across by holding your mouse down and so then I have um, that whole Sunday will be that rotation let's say at 8 a.m. we wanted to run this rotation so then again you make the rotation active there and you just click um, and then let's say 8, 9, and 10, that rotation. Or if I wanted a playlist to play at 11, I can click it there. Now, Nextcast also allows you to schedule minutes. And this takes a little bit of thinking here, but let me show you. So let's say at 11 a.m., I, I click the 11 a.m., but then I go down to here and it shows that Sunday hour 11, the minute schedule is now active. So let's say at 11.03, I want that playlist to start so then you would click here at um, on the three minute mark and that would mean that 1103 on Sunday that playlist will play and you'll notice on the 11 o'clock hour <coughs> next cast shows the little minute icon um, indicating that there's a refined minute schedule in there um, and it's not using the hour schedule so we at 1103 we can start that playlist and then we can start a rotation at 1150. Um, if you don't put anything after, uh, it will just wait to see the next event. Um, the last thing about the schedule is you just need to make sure enable scheduled is checked. Um, if it's checked, that would make sure that any schedule that you have set in the schedule window um, will get activated when it needs to. That is the basic overview of scheduling uh, rotations or playlist in Nextcast. Um, and I'll just give you one last little tip. <clears throat> if you're using our voice track feature and you have generated your playlist, you'll have folders like these with dates in them. Those do not have to be scheduled. Automatically, when it sees that date and the hours within, those play automatically and they do not need to be scheduled. Um, and they, the enable schedule does have to be checked, but that, that happens automatically. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or feedback, please go to our website and uh, join us on Facebook. Look for Nextcast Radio Automation. Thanks.